Hi, I'm Morgan Spurlock, and in my movie, Super Size Me, I explored the issue of obesity by eating nothing but McDonald's for 30 days straight. Over the course of my experiment, I went through a physical, mental, and emotional transformation that was like living somebody else's life. But it got me thinking, what if you could live someone else's life for just 30 days? These college student snowflakes think they have it hard. Bullshit! I, a 48-year-old man, enrolled at the University of Minnesota Twin Cities to ask the age-old question, what would happen if I tried to live the student lifestyle for 30 days? Let's find out. It's day one. We're settling into the dorms nicely, and I've met the people on this floor, and they seem very nice. I'm really looking forward to my- Shut the f*** up, McFicky. Go <laughs> Those guys are so funny. Anyway, we got this new housewarming gift. And we got the house. This is my room. Some people call it 88 feet of prison. I call it Mikasa. This is my first meal on the University of Campus. And we are having Taco Tuesday. And I've heard the food is really bad here. However, I have hopes that it isn't as bad as people say it is. So let's dig right in. <laughs> That's weird. All in all, this is probably about a 7 out of 10. Okay, so it's a new day, uh, and one of the things about this challenge, uh, to stay realistic with college students, is that uh, I went into this completely broke. I need some school supplies, so I'm gonna have to get creative. We're about to rob this guy. Give me a Okay, so we got some textbooks right here, and uh, now we're ready for class. We're just doing some homework. We're gonna uh, check check my bills, see how that's going. What the? Two hundred thirty-seven thousand dollars? Oh my god! I've been here for less than a week. I've had to take out some uh, really risky loans, some really long loans to try to pay off my student debt. Uh, I'll be paying these off for years probably till the day i die so this this 30 days of college is really adding up and uh it's been rough okay so right now we're going to the gym uh i'm gonna try to stay in good physical shape it's very important that we don't have like a mcdonald's part two on our hands supersize me too if you will so here we go so the freshman 15 is definitely very real and i've gained some serious pounds on this diet <clears throat> it's high in calories and it's just been been really it's been really getting to me i feel less energy um i feel more sluggish it's harder to do work and it's definitely been taking its toll on me and i can't wait to be done this is definitely worse than super size me because at least in super size me i didn't have to do any homework i mean i have all these student debt and you know i was gaining weight both times but there's so much extra stress in the life of a college student it's it's ridiculous Turn them, turn them off. Turn them off. Oh, God. Turn, turn, turn them off. <laughs> Yesterday, uh, I didn't even get out of bed. I just missed all my classes. I was just too tired and I couldn't move. And today, uh, I managed to get out of bed, but my joints ache so much. I was just out of energy in all my classes. God, I'm so big. I can't even afford coffee to keep stay awake. Uh, college is really just taking a lot out of me. I'm not even gonna come out of here with a degree. I'm failing all my classes. I found this pizza on the ground. It saved me money. I didn't have to buy it. Eating kind of is my life right now, which is uh, something that I didn't expect from the college lifestyle. The food here isn't even that good. It's just like, it's just something to do. It fills the void that my life has kind of become here. <laughs> Today we're making money to pay off our grotesque student debt and we're doing it in an illicit way. Oh man, finals are like so stressful right now. I just like wish there was something I could just like take that job against, but totally dude, I would do anything at this point. Anything. <laughs> sure. I just want some grass and cocaine. This is the best stuff around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just you smoke Hello? it. Put it yes, in brownies, 
What are you, what are you doing? I'm calling the police. Shh. What the what are you guys So the drug deal didn't go well, but I just remembered there's a whole treasure chest of items right in our hands here, so. The meals here are really starting to wear on me. Uh, today's special, we got the turkey sauce brand combo. Oh, this is gonna be so fucking nasty. I guess I'm just gonna swallow it like a pill. <laughs> so I, I, I've been throwing up a lot uh, recently. And uh, yeah, my body just seems to be absolutely rejecting this food. And it's become like almost a daily occurrence that I'm throwing up. Damn yeah, I just feel terrible. Uh, my throat's constantly burning. It's, it's awful. So today's the day uh, where we're going to go and we're going to talk to our doctor and we're going to talk to our academic advisor and we're going to see how we've been doing on this 30 day challenge and uh, yeah, see how we're doing. So what are the results of the tests? Mr. Spurlock, I have some bad news for you. Long story short, you're at risk of being obese. If you keep on this path, you're at risk of many, many things. Firstly, I'll read it off. Cancer, 13% higher. Diabetes type 2, 98% higher. Liver disease, kidney disease, all the diseases, so much higher. You have high cholesterol, high blood pressure, high BMI, large increase in weight. Do you have any questions? What are you advising? Well, I advise you to stop this college experience right now. Well, I only have like a few days left to finish my trial. Can I just like, can I just finish it? Mr. Spurlock, I'll be frank with you. If you continue, there's a high risk of you dying. My academic advisor told me I'm failing. Uh, my doctor told me that I'm gonna die. Uh, but against all the advice, I'm gonna keep pushing on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it to the end. I'm gonna push to the end. Even if I die, I'm trying. So what have I learned from these 30 days as a college student? Well, for one, I learned that maintaining a healthy diet and good grades and all that stuff is very hard to balance and I have a lot of work to do to get back down to where I was. Secondly, uh, one of the things I think I learned is that the financials are extremely difficult. You can rack up debt so fast and luckily uh, I'm established and I have the money for, to pay for this but for someone who's dead broke that, that money stacks up fast and it could really destroy you so college is definitely no joke. I don't... It's very real, the struggles here are very real. Hoping I can get back to how I was normally in, in about a month or so and back on my feet. Feels good to be done. I would not recommend the college experience to anyone. Yeah, it's tough. You gonna miss this place? Not at all.